Welcome to the AMCAS Letters of Evaluation and Medical Schools tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll walk through adding letter of evaluation entries and assigning them to medical schools in your application. At the end of this video, you will find contact information for AMCAS and links to additional resources. The Letters of Evaluation section gives you the opportunity to identify who will be writing letters on your behalf. Before you get started adding letter entries, make sure that the schools you are applying to participate in the AMCAS letter service. Check the AMCAS website at www.aamc.org AMCAS for participating schools. If the school doesn't participate, you will need to contact that school directly for information on their precise letter requirements and procedures. If you are a reapplicant, you will need to resubmit letters of evaluation to AMCAS for each application cycle to which you apply. AMCAS will retain and deliver letters only within a single application year. You should also gather contact information for each of your letter authors before you begin this section. When you're ready to start, click the Letters of Evaluation link on the right-hand side of the main menu. Now on this page to create an entry, click Add Letter of Evaluation slash Recommendation, and a new pop-up screen will come into view. On the Letter Entry pop-up screen, first state which type of letter entry you would like to create. In this example, I'll add an individual letter that I'm targeting for one of my medical school designations. I will start by clicking the option for an individual letter. You can have up to 10 letter entries associated with your AMCAS application. It is important to note each letter type is considered one letter entry in the application, regardless of the actual number of letters it contains. For example, one letter entry can be a letter packet from your pre-health advising office. Overall, there are three letter types. Committee letter is a letter authored by a pre-health committee or pre-health advisor and intended to represent your institution's evaluation of you. A letter packet is a packet or set of letters assembled and distributed by your institution, often by the institution's career center. An individual letter is a letter written by and representing a single letter author. If you aren't sure what type of letter you should choose, check with your pre-health advisor. Letter packets cannot be broken up. All letters included in the packet will be sent to medical schools that you select to receive the packet. Next, after marking your letter type, the screen will expand for you to enter more information. The letter title is not required and is just a field to aid you in remembering that particular letter entry, making it easier to select which letters should be sent to each medical school in the next section of the application. Note, this letter title is visible to medical schools. Next, indicate whether this letter author is associated with a school by clicking yes or no. If you mark yes, a new drop-down menu will display for you to show the school the author is connected to. Now, fill in all the required information, including the letter author's name and address. You may also enter additional information like the author's title, email address, and phone number. Once complete, click Save. After you click Save, you will see a reminder for you to create a letter request form. As it says here, 
you can create this form at any time in the application cycle. This is just one opportunity to do so. Click yes or no here to express if you would like to create the form at this time. If you click yes, a new pop-up screen will appear to notify you that the letter request form PDF is loading. Make sure your browser allows pop-ups from this site. It's very important that you create a letter request form. It is a personalized form generated specific to you and your application details. You should print this form or save it to print or email later and give it to the author of your letter regardless of whether the letter will be submitted on paper or electronically. Your AMC ID number as well as the letter ID number, both of which are printed on the form, are needed to accurately match letters of evaluation to your application. The letter request form also provides the author with instructions on how to submit the letter to AMCAS. Now you will see the letter entry you just created will be listed on this page. You will notice that the letter entry is listed as not received. You may also print the letter request form from this page, view and edit the details of this entry, or delete this letter. You can add another letter entry here, and you are allowed up to 10 total entries. Although that does not mean that medical schools wish to receive 10 letters of evaluation. Most applicants have two or three letter entries. You can make changes to this section until you have submitted your application. Before submission, if you would like to update an entry, click delete. Then create a new entry and enter the information properly. Once you submit it, you may only add new entries or indicate that a previously entered letter will no longer be sent. Remember that you must recertify and resubmit your application if you make a change to this section. The next step is to choose which medical schools you will send this letter to. Click the medical schools link at the top of this page. When you're in this section, if you have not added your designated medical schools, click add medical school. A new screen will be displayed. Here, use one of the given filters to select a medical school that you would like to apply to and send a letter of evaluation. Once you have found your desired medical school, go on to select the program type that you will be applying to. I am choosing the regular MD program. Then mark yes or no if you have applied to this medical school in previous years. On this screen, you will also be able to assign the letters you would like this medical school to receive by selecting the appropriate checkboxes. If the school participates in the AMCAS letter service, you will be informed by the blue highlighted text field on the bottom of the screen. When you have completed all required steps and selected the appropriate letter entry, click Save. Now you will see the name of your designated medical school and below it the letters that will be sent with your application. Thanks for watching. Get more information or share your feedback with AMCAS using the contact information listed here.